Isang masayang pagbati na may ngiti sa aking mga labi. Naghahanap ba kayo ng makakatuwang sa pag-review ng inyong anak? Meron yan sa DepEd. Ang Itulay Online Tutorial ay libre at handog ng ating kagawaran sa pangunguna ng OUA ICTS EdTech. Ito ay isang proyektong makatutulong sa mga mag-aaral, katuwang ang mga magulang o kasama sa kanika nilang tahanan para masagutan at maunawaan ang mga modules. Hangad din ng programang Itulay ang matulungan ang ating mga guro sa kanilang mga blended learning classes. Ang ating itulay ay mula kinder hanggang senior high school. Bukod sa academics, meron din tayong mga special programs. Gaya ng All is Wellness, Reading and Math Remediation, Storytelling, Mommy Tech Talks, Classes sa Gramatika, Speech Class, Financial Literacy, at marami pang iba. Pinalawig din ng itulay ang ating Alive Program para sa mga mag-aaral mula grade 1 hanggang grade 3. Gayun din ay mayroon tayong ALS Program at SPED Tutorials na makasisigurong makakamit ng lahat ang inclusive education. May SPED Hotline na rin para sa inyong mga katanungan patungkol sa special education. Kaya, subaybayan mula lunes hanggang biyernes, mula ikasyam ng umaga hanggang ikapito ng gabi ang ating itulay. Sa ating pagtutulungan, maiaangat natin ang bawat isa. Ating itutulay ang pagkatuto upang di mapigil ang pag-aaral ng kabataang Pilipino. Itulay natin ito, Sulong Edukalidad. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your Tutor Maj. Welcome to Itulay, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and SPED learners. Aside from answering the modules, The Itulay is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulay will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our module, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po, at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aaral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito 
upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli, ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Ayan, hello everyone. Hello guys. Ayan, hello. Good afternoon. I hope everybody is doing great. Hello, senior high school learners. Welcome to our second quarter of our in Itulay online in our subject 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. But before we shout out, in behalf of my partner, congratulations to Turf Loy. We would like to greet everyone in amazing afternoon. Ayan po. Okay, so shall we begin? Mm -hmm. So I would like to shout out to our viewers na talaga namang napaka aga, no? Yes, our early bird, we have John Christian Miko from San Francisco High School. We also have Joseph Conrad Bulaklap watching from Pasay City North High School. ICT. We also have Joy Marian, Joyce Marian de Guzman, John Ray Polborosa. We also have Fernando, yeah, from from Canales, Fernando Fernales. We also have Raiza Lapinas, Las Pinas, and Trisha Lian Argiliano. Yes, and we also have from San Francisco High School po ito mga to, no? And another, we have Enrico Dalupan from, good morning, good afternoon po, from uh, grade 11 STEM, Virgin, Virgin de las Flores High School. Hello po, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan, at marami pa. Nako, we have Jella, Jaya Mary Galliano, AJ Wanyo, we also have Melody Loga, and Yashan Lim. Catherine, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Ayan. Okay, so let us proceed. Okay, so this afternoon, this we have our yeah, our annual international uh thank you day. Ayun, itong January 11, 2022. And this actually we forgot to say thank you, diba? Ito yung pinaka parang minsan nakakalimutan natin even though people uh, or our friends um make us very a uh, nice a uh, gratitude or uh actually I mean very good things that happen to us or give us or parang binigyan tayo ng favor or something na maganda na ginawa sa atin. So, it's very essential, essential to, to, to give gratitude or to show gratitude from the bottom of our hearts. Ayan, who made our life better and happier. Okay. And with this celebration on our, our calendar, one can understand how much a thank you means, di ba? Madalas natin nakakalimutan yan and never hesitate to utter these simple words which give more sense to the person you are thanking. Or you want. Okay, and of course, ang ati namang mga ito, ang ati itulay and my partner, Tutor Floy, are very, very happy, guys, reading your creative poems. And we really cannot resist it talaga, no? So, that's why we have this enthusiast of the week. Ayan, talaga naman. So, we have Lalaine Larbosora with her poem, This Diversionist, a uh, diver. Diversification of Literature, we also have The Body of Written Work by Hamza Marie Alingaza. We also have Around the World by Ira Abelia. Ayan. Thank you so much, guys. Your poems are really amazing. Okay. And today we have another batch of amazing special guests for this week. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And they will be joining us for another fruitful and informative week for this 2022. So guys, are you excited? Ayan, and dito ang ating mga viewers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ayan. Mm -hmm. So before, without any, uh, without any ado, we let's have, let's meet our guests of the week. So let's start with, we have a consistent grade 12 honor student since preschool. She is very active, joining different competitions. Talagang kakaiba yung ating guest ngayon. <laughs> and she is currently the vice president of her class. And for her, all things shall pass because God has 
always a plan for us. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, hindi ko na patatagalin. Let us all catch our sight to Jelly Fetch Juanito or Tutor Jell. Tutor Jelly! Ayan. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you so much for that, Tutor Joy, for introducing me. I sincerely applaud you, Tutor Joyce. And yes, hello world and hello there. And to all viewers out there and my friends and relatives, thank you so much for supporting me. And your support means the world. And also, thank you, Itzilai and Tutor Joyce, for having me here. Thanks for your hard work on this. I'm very excited and I'm very happy. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Tutor Jell. I hope you're doing great. So now let's proceed to another, another guest that we have here. He is from a grade 11 naman ito, from senior high school of San Francisco High School, Division of Quezon City, the same with Tutor Jelly. He may not be the top of his class, but he is very active in his English classes from junior to senior high school. So please help me welcome John Marie John Malapos or Tutor John. Hello, Tutor John. Hello, Tutor Joyce, Tutor Jell. Uh, I thank you for introducing me. And I hello as well to the viewers, my family, and my section GAS Arfair Yolo friends who are watching right now. Uh, I hope this lesson gives at least a new perspective for you guys on how the North American literature works. So, yeah, let's start. Okay, ayan po ang ating special or guest tandem of this week, Tutor Jom and Tutor Jelly. So, there you have it, guys. So, to start with, of course, balikan muna natin. Let's have a short week up on the lessons we had last week. And we also have our special amazing guests also. No, we have Tutor Gab and Tutor EJ. And we have learned, we, they have shared lessons, Tutor Jom and Tutor Jelly, about Asian and African literature. We also highlight some of the famous writers and authors from the classics to modern literature. Ayan. At nababanggit nga kanina ni Tutor Jom, no? we will be moving on to the North America. Okay, so before that, Tutor Jelly would like to share our mix for this afternoon. Go ahead, Tutor yes, Jelly. Thank yes, thank you so much for that, Tutor Joyce. And for our milks or what we called most essential learning competencies in quarter two, week seven are as follows. First, identify text and authors from North America. And last is write a close analysis and critical interpretation of North American literary text. Ayan. So thank you so much, Tutor Jelly. I think, and Tutor Jom, no? I think our viewers are excited sa milks pa lang. Talaga na may excited na sila. Siyempre, hindi makukompleto ang ating afternoon without the lesson objectives. Tutor Jom, ano ba yung ating lesson objectives? Go ahead, Tutor Jom. Uh, yes, Tutor Joyce. Uh, the lesson objectives for today is to recognize authors from North America and their works, critique known North American literary works, and appreciate the literary works of North America. Ayan, so speaking of literary works, our literary or literature concept of the week is, ayan, ano pa yon? We have disillusionment. Ayan, Tutor Jom and Tutor Jelly, disillusionment is actually the condition of being dissatisfied or defeated in expectation of hope. Parang ito yung natawag natin disappointment. Okay, no? But you, when you feel, you discover that something is not good as you had expected. Parang ganon. And I have an example. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, example we have, Anna got this illusion about the possibility of passing the examination after failing the mock test at several times. Ayan. And speaking of Disillusion. I hope you guys will not be disappointed, huh? <laughs> with our lesson for today, because instead, be satisfied and amazed with our prepared lesson for everyone. Okay, so eto na. 
to Tor jo Jelly and to Tor Jom, which is our lesson of our this afternoon. We have literary texts and authors from North America. Okay, question muna. Do you have any idea what the third largest continent in the world? Ano kaya ang tinatawag nating third largest continent in the world? Okay, bago sagutin ng ating mga guest tutors yan, pakitingnan nga natin sa ating chat space. Ano kaya? So yes, you may ano Yes. <laughs> Try to answer yes, your... Yes, nakikita na ako. Ayan. Okay, pwede niyo pong sagutin ang, ang ating tanong. Yeah, hello, tutor Jerry is also with us. Hello, sir. Ayan. So any, anyone would like to answer... Ayan, sa ating chat space. Ayan, sumagot si EJ Caspilia. Oh, our tutor EJ. Hello, tutor EJ. Yeah, ayun ang, ay, may mga sagot sila. Tutor Jelly at saka tutor Jom. Sige, reveal na natin. Okay. <laughs> I think tutor Jelly will going to help us yes. answer this yes. one. Go ahead, yes. tutor Jelly. So, our third largest continent in the world is... Dun -dun -dun -dun, it's North America. You all guys are correct. Good job. That's yes. Nice. So, let's go and come and find out what we are going to study today. And it's North American Literature. So, we have the earlier works. It informed people about social colonial life religious disputes and settlement issues earlier works are greatly influenced by british writers and did you know what patriotism is well patriotism is feeling of attachment and commitment to a country and nation and next we have the ideals traditions and values resulted from the nation's frontier days includes independence equality, patriotism, and truth. Ayan. Thank you, Tutor Jelly. And you know, Tutor Jom, alam mo ba, the North Americans, their characteristics of early, you know, yung early literature nila is actually found in their poems, ayan, their journals, letters, yes. or even narratives. Matatagpuan mo dun kahit na sa mga teaching materials sila, no? Even okay. written by settlers, religious figures, and even historical icons of that period. Ayan. Okay, so they tend to reject authority. So let's move on to the common themes. Ano naman mga common themes ng North America? Tutor John, go ahead. Yes, uh, these are the common themes. Uh, first things first is the American dream. The American dream is a type of theme invented with a set of ideals that is democracy, rights, liberty, opportunity, and equality, and a type of belief that when you work through sacrifice and hard work, you can achieve anything. Uh, coming of age, it's a type of team that follows the development of child into an adult uh, we see the perspective more of the person's development throughout the story uh, then alienation and isolation is a team that a person withdraws or becomes isolated from the environment or their people now the survival of ferris a theory of charles darwin suggesting that organisms best adapted to their environment are the most successful in surviving with the extinction of others last but not the least is the rebellion and protest it is an uh, it, it, sorry it is an act of disobeying fighting against and rejection to submit or to bow any to any authorities Ayan. And didn't you know, in addition to that, to third job, we're most, these are most relationship with nature. Actually, yung mga themes nila is more on nature also, society, and even science, no? Ayan. And another, I think we have more, no? To third job, go ahead. Ah, uh, yes. And these are the common genres. Adventure, which is an epic journey. Horror is to scare the viewers. Thriller, giving the viewers suspense or excitement. Mystery that follows a crime that is trying to solve. Satire is the use of humor or jokes. Science fiction, which is a futuristic concept. Dystopian is a form of speculative fiction. And young adult fiction is written for readers to 12 and 18 years of age. 
Wow, thank you so much for that very informative Tutor Jom and Tutor Jelly, you know ba, these American writers have always, parang meron talaga silang strong tendency na to break, no, to break the literary traditions. Ayan sila eh, no, Americans. And these writers, but other writers nowadays or even before, the other country seems to absorb na eh, their national literary traditions. But, you know, Tutor Jelly and Tutor Jom, many American and authors have rejected the older or the old or the old ones not the old genres bakit kaya it's it's because they want to create something new ayan na talaga namang ina-adopt minsan ng, not only in other countries even in the philippines diba so we have here american writers have different literary styles ko meron lit common genres meron din tinatawag na different literary styles in writing ano ano ba ito tutor jom and tutor jelly so ito yun so we have the realism we also have the romanticism and the naturalism so speaking of realism when you speak of realism it is more on the yeah ang authors natin dyan we have Henry James William Dean Howells we also have Mark Twain ayan so mamaya makikilala natin mostly si Mark Twain sa character naman a person with depth ability to make ethical choices and act on environment and not only that realism it is a literature normally for literature of normality and representative so these are the style of art and literature that shows or describe, nagde-describe siya ng people and things that are re in real life. Kaya tinawag na siyang realism. No? Ayan, ha? Tutor Jelly at saka Tutor John. Another one, we also have this romanticism. Ano naman itong from the word romance? Oh, di ba? Nakakakilig. <laughs> okay, our authors here are Ralph Waldo Emerson, Nathaniel Hal Hawthorne, and this one is the character is more on a god or idealistic figure. Okay, dito naman sa romanticism, it's also a style of art, literature, etc. during the late 18 to 19 centuries. Imagine that, Tutor Jelly, no? Tutor Jom. And that emphasized more on imagination, ayan, and emotions. It's also the quality of state of being impractical or unrealistic. Ayan. It also deals with variations from a normal life. Kanina, realism. Ito naman, from romance. And ana, last but not the least, the naturalism. It's also another style of art or literature that shows people and things as they actually uses both detailed accuracy mm -hmm, and philosophical depth. So, parang ito tong, ito tong yung mga authors natin, si Stephen Crane, si Franz Norris, ang mga characters mostly dito is a helpless object who is nevertheless heroic. Ayan, and very, very natural. Kaya nga siya, naturalism. Okay, so there you have it, guys. The three, okay, the three literary styles that we have. And of course, ayan, very excited. I know you guys also, our viewers. Hello, viewers. Andyan pa ba kayo? <laughs> okay, so let us now meet our North American writers and let's be acquainted with their works. Ayan, so it's just shared sa atin niya ni Tutor Jom. Yes, Tutor Jom. Let's start with meeting our writers. Go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, I will give you an example which is Moby Dick. Uh, it's written by Herman Melville and was pus was published in October 1851, which is a really long time. Uh, which is a uh, it's actually a novel, marine epic, adventure story, quest tale, and a tra tragedy where it shows the exploitative nature of whaling, the limits of knowledge, and the deceptiveness of fate. Ayan. Thank you so much for that, Tutor John. Pero you know, actually guys, even viewers, no, Tutor Jelly, in 1910, uh, 2010, yung nalala ko, 2020, 2010 yun, Moby Dick, was already a film adaptation. Oo, na film adaptation from his novel. And Herman Melville expertly used both fictitious and real-life events to craft his great work. Ayan. Okay. And moving on to the next, Tutor Jelly. Ano naman itong kasunod? Go ahead. 
and yes and we have a i'm nobody who are you by emily dickinson did you know tutor joyce tutor job and all the viewers there emily dickinson in full of emily elizabeth dickinson born on december 10 1830 in amherst massachusetts and died on may 15 1863 in amherst elizabeth is a american lyrics poet who lived in seduction and commanded a singular brilliance of style and integrity of vision and so in the wistful is uh, having or showing a feeling or vague and regretful longing while the to the unsettling is causing anxiety or uneasiness disturbing and last we have the wonders of nature to the four bless of human nature is a um it will make you think about things you haven't thought of before Ayan, so talagang you might have to think over, you know? Pag sinabi yung I'm nobody and who are you? <laughs> Parang ang dating is, ano, no? Okay, and additional for that, tutor, tutor Jelly, go and ahead. Yes, and the frequent use of rhythmic dashes to interrupt the flow in the story of I'm nobody, who are you? by Annalyn Dickinson is first, are you nobody too? And last, they banish us, you know. Yeah. Oh, yun. <laughs> Ayan, ang galing-galing ni Tutor Jelly. Well, actually, ito pa, additional ito, Tutor Jom at saka Tutor Jelly. No? This poem of her most famous and most playful defense of a kind of a spiritual. Ito parang may spiritual privacy was uh, she favored, implying that being a nobody is a luxury, incomprehensible to the dairy somebody's, diba? Parang ganun naman na tayo, diba? Kapag ka, uh, pag sinabing nobody. Oo. And the poem vividly illustrates her surprising way with language. Ayun. And we have also, ito isa sa mga pinasik, pinakasikat ng North America, The Great Gatsby. O, diba? Parang, this is written by Francis Scott Fitzgerald. Well, actually, Fitzgerald is an American novelist. Yeah, and he is a novelist, essayist, short story writer, and even a screen writer. He was best known for his novels depicting the flamboyance and excess of the jazz age. Yun yung siya mismo ang nagpopularize ng sinasabi ng jazz age. Okay, ayan. So, actually, the story of this, it's about the impossibility of recapturing the past and also the difficulty of altering one's future. Mm -hmm. And ito si, ang protagonist natin na ito, it's si Jay, no? Si Jay. Si J. Gatsby. Yeah, the protagonist of the novel is J. Gatsby, who is a mysterious and wealthy neighbor of the narrator. Si yung narrator natin, si Nick Carraway. A young man from Minnesota moves to New York in the summer of 1922 to learn about the bondan. So, ito yung mga genre na itong novel na to, no? Tinawag na nga siya ng The Great American Novel because of the different genres that were depicted in this novel. So, yung tragedy, realism, modernism, and even social satire. So, ayan. So, actually, these are the themes that were depicted also in the, in the, mod, in the novel. So, we have the decline of the American dream. Ayan. So, the spirit of 20 or 1920s. Mm -hmm. The difference between the social classes. Okay. The roles of symbols, symbols of the, in the human conceptions of meaning. And we also have the role of the past dreams of the future. Okay, so, and ito pa, addition to that, Tutor Jelly at saka Tutor Jom, alam mo ba, this novel has four movie adaptations. O, oh, ba? Yung movie di kanina, meron siya isa, pero ito, apat. And have seen one, at actually, totoo, <laughs> Tutor Jom and Tutor Jelly, nakapanood ako nito isa. So, that was last 2013. Ang nag-star dito, si, yung best friend si Leonardo DiCaprio and saka si Tobey Maguire, yung Spider-Man. 
Okay. Ayan. Yes. Oh, now let's now proceed to our storytelling time. Ayan, Tutor Jelly, natatandaan mo ba nung bata ka, Tutor Jom, kapag may sinabi na ni teacher na, okay, story time, children. So this is now our story time. So I know you guys are excited. And the novel that we'll be reading this afternoon, ayan, The Adventures and the Development of Protagonists from a Childhood, True Adolescence, ayan, which is the story of ayan, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Okay. And a novel is about, yeah, I mentioned already, adventures develop in the protagonist. And actually, this adventure of Tom Sawyer also fits the genre of satire, frontier literature, and folk narrative, and comedy. Ayan, I know you guys are excited to listen to our story for today. Okay, so let us start Tutor Jom. Alam ko, excited na sila Tutor Jom sa ating kwento. <laughs> okay, so ready Tutor Jom, go ahead. Yes, thank you Tutor Joyce. Uh, the Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Tom falls in love with Becky Thatcher, a new girl in St. Peters Petersburg, Missouri. He persuades her to get engaged to him. Sadly, the romance collapses when she learns that Tom has been engaged before to a girl named Amy Lawrence. Shortly after being shunned by Becky, Tom accompanies Huckleberry Finn, the son of the town drunk. Together, they visited the, the graveyard at night to try out a cure for warts. Okay, after that, what happened next to Tutor Jelly? Yes, and at the graveyard, they witnessed the murder of young Dr. Robinson by the Native American half-breed Indian Joe. Scared, Tom and Hawk ran away and swore a blood oath not to tell anyone what they have seen. Wow, okay. Oh, na parang nakakatakot ito, no? Parang they witness. Okay, go ahead, Tutor Jelly. Ano nangyari? What happened next? Go. And Injun Joe blamed his companion, Muff Potter, and helpless drunk for the crime. Potter is slowly arrested and Tom's anxiety and guilt begin to grow. Ayan. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Our very short excerpt of our This Adventure of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Okay, so you guys ready for our assessment? <laughs> Talaga meeting ng story natin, ano? Tutor John at saka Tutor Jell. Okay, so let's have an assessment period or assessment time using a critical analysis. Okay, everybody, we will be challenging everyone. Okay, challenge ito. <laughs> It's a healthy challenge naman, ano? Okay, so So, ayan, Tutor Jel at saka Tutor Jom. So, tanungin natin din ang mga viewers natin ha, kung kaya nila itong sagutin. Sige. So, to start with, ayan, who was or who is the narrator of the story? Sino ba yung narrate, nagnanarate kanina sa story natin? Okay, can you yes. guess? Ayan, Before Tutor Jel, sino kaya? Answer, yeah, sige, go. Yes. Before I reveal the answer, let's see, the, let's see their answer in the comment section first. Yes, tingin muna Ayan. tayo bago i-reveal ang mga answers. Ayan. Ayan, meron na kaya tayong sagot? Meron hmm, na kaya? Nag-iisip pa sila? I think they're still Wala thinking to your drill. Yes, Ayan. so ayun. <laughs> yes, could be possible. Mm, possible. And yes, oh, so I will reveal the narrator of the story, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is... An adult. Ayon, yes. an adult. Okay. An adult. Next question. What is the setting of the story, Tutor Jam? Siguro si Tutor Jam makakatulong sa atin kanina. Yes. Okay, tingnan para natin, before that, tingnan natin, Tutor Jam. Let us go see ahead. first to the comment section below. And go. Ayan. Meron na ba? Saan kaya ang ating, ayan, medyo late May ata yung kailang mga sagot? Okay. Baka may yes. delay po, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, natin. well, if that's the case, that us reveal. Mukhang, ayan, si Mark Twain daw po. Tingnan natin. Mark ayan, Twain? Na, ayan, and may sumagot si Vaughn. Si Vaughn Diola. Tama po ba, okay. Vaughn Diola? Yes. Okay. Uh, ang tamang sagot po sa setting ay 
uh, St. Petersburg, Missouri. Yes. Ayan. Wow. Correct. Thank you so much, Vaughn. Tama si Vaughn. We also have, yes, thank you so much, Joseph, for answering. Trisha, correct. And Ingona and si Tenorio Cruz. Ayan. Thank you so much, guys. Next question. Which point of view was, was used to narrate the story? Tutor Jelly, ano, si, ano kaya itong point Ayan, of view? Before, ko, before I reveal the answer, let's see their answer in the comment section first. Kung alam talaga nila, Tutor Joyce and Tutor John. Let's see. Ayan. 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 Mga excited sila. Ayan na. May mga sumasagot, Tutor Jelly. Tama kaya yes. sila? Or let us help them. Sige, mga nakoconfuse yeah. sila. Go ahead, yes. Tutor Jelly. And, and the point of view was used to narrate the story in the, to, in the adventures of Tom Sawyer is special insights into the workings of the boyish heart and mind. Ayun, okay. And of course, pang-apat, we have the tone naman. Ano naman yung tone na na-express or what the tone is expressed in the story? Ano kaya ito? Yes? To yes, let joke, us see can in the comment tell, section below. Can you below. help us? Yes, let us see to the comment section below first. Uh, what tone is expressed in the story? Ayan. Mukhang eto na, sumasagot na si Joseph Conrad. Okay. Special Ayan. heart Thank... and mind. Ayan. Okay. I think his, that was the answer for number three na sinagot niya. Thank you yes. so much, Joseph, for answering. Okay. Ayan na may mga yes. answer din tayo. Si Osonio. Okay. And also... Okay. And reveal na natin, Tutor Joe. Yes, reveal na natin. Ang sagot ay satirical and nostalgic. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much sa mga answers you guys. Okay, number five. What aspect of Tom's character profiles the, nar the narrative or narrative forward? Yes? yes. Tutor Jill, ano yes. yung sagot natin dito? Yes, thank you so much for that, Tutor Joyce. And before ko i-reveal yung answer, titingin muna ulit tayo sa comment section kung alam ba talina, kung alam ba talaga nila ang sagot. Yan. Yes. Okay. Let's start. Did you reveal ko na ang sagot? And Go the ahead, aspect <laughs> of character's purpose in the narrative forward is his desire for love. Ayun, talagang love for, diba, sabi niya, fall in love to, ano, to, to Becky. And also, yes. fall in love din sa, not fall in love, but love to his Ano yung kaibigan niya or yung friend niya? Yes. Okay, yes. si Hawk. Okay, next. And Mark Twain Sattar exposes, ano yung in-expose niya the hypocrisy of? What do you think is is Tutor John? Yes, tingnan muna natin sa comment section below. Ano kaya ang mga sagot po nila? Ayan, mukhang late ang ating mga sagot. Ano? Ako, jo uh, Joseph na, Conrad answered sa number 5 kanina, Desire of, of Love. Thank you so much. You're correct. Uh, unflagging energy. Yan, identity, sabi ni Vaughn at saka ni Argaliano. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys for answering. And reveal the answer. Come on, Tutor John, go ahead. Uh, yes, the the Mark Twain satire exposes the hypocrisy of social institution and public opinion. Ayun, okay. And moving on to the next. Ano naman ang major conflict na nakita natin in the story? Okay, can you can you recall the major conflict of the story? Ayan, so, ano yes, ito? thank you for that, Tutor Joyce. And the uh, major conflict in the story of the adventures of Tom Sawyer is Tom and Hawks perceive their biggest struggle to be between themselves and Eden Joe, whose goal they want and whom they believe is out to kill them. Ayan, de ba? Parang nakakatako. So they that's why they they hid themselves just for just for just for what? Just for giving giving them not to be killed by the by the witness they have yeah. to witnessing the doctor as murder, Robinson's murder. Okay, moving on to the next question. Ayan na. How about the rising action in the plot? Yes. Ano yung rising okay. action of the plot? Yes, go ahead. Sige na natin sa comment section below. Ayan na, may answer na sila, Von. Okay. Von Diola, a witness of a murder. 
That answer is correct. Okay. Ayan, congratulations. Okay, okay yes. next we have, how about the plot technique? Ano kaya ang plot technique na ginamit dito, Tutor Jelly? Go Ayan, ahead. Before I reveal the answer, titingin muna ulit tayo sa comment section. And ano nga ba talaga ang plot, plot technique na ginamit dito sa story na to? And mm -hmm. mukhang nadidelay ang kanilang mga sagot. Yes, i-reveal ko na. And ang plot technique na ginamit dito is foreshadowing. Yeah. Ayan, yung foreshadowing natin. And last but not the least, I mean, what are those prevailing themes that we can find in yes. the Adventures of Tom Sawyer? Sige, Give us at least one job. answer. Oh, ayan, please. now we have so many. O, diba? Pero we just pick three. Or just, you can give me at least one. Viewers, at least one, ayan. Eh? At least one daw. Okay. Ano kaya ang team na nakita ninyo dyan? Yes, Anong EJ? Anong mm -hmm. Ay, tama si Miko. Nag-foreshadowing. Nag na, late lang sila. No, no. Late sila ata. Nagsumasagot. Yes. Super <laughs> job. Okay. So, I think we need to reveal na. Go ahead. Super yes, job. Yes, i-reveal na natin. Ang sagot sa teams are social maturation, freedom, superstition in an uncertain world. Ayan. Okay, so that's it, guys. Good job, everyone. Palakpakan natin. Ayan, kahit i-delay late yung ating mga viewers. Thank you so much for answering, guys. And Better luck next time yan. lang na lang sa iba po. Okay, ayan. Ayan. So, good job, guys. So, for our test of the week, I know uh, you guys are amazing, especially in creating your output. Every time na pinapost nyo sa uh, ating FB page. Ayan, another task for the week we have, if you'll be given the chance to be the writer of Tom Sawyer, para kang si Mark Twain, no? You'll be able to write a paragraph on how would you like to end the story and why. So you may post it on our FB page, okay? Ayan, another one, yes. And before we end our session this afternoon, talaga alam ko na bitin kayo. <laughs> and kasi magagaling yung ating mga tutor this afternoon. Okay, so they'll I like to leave this inspiring quote. We would like to leave this inspiring quote again from Mark Twain. According to him, give every day the chance to become the most beautiful of your life. Okay, so let us always look at the beautiful side of life. Ayan. So that's it, guys. We hope we have enlightened and inspired everyone and have gained another long learning and experiences from this lesson. So in behalf of Tutor Floyd, this is Tutor Joyce. Tutor Jelly. And Tutor Jom at your service. Saying thank you. See you again next week for another journey while learning. Tutor Jelly. Here in 21st century literature from the Philippines and the world. And don't forget to subscribe to our Deped TV YouTube channel and revisit and share our previous episodes. And make sure to tune in for the next class. Just stay in, okay? Reading and writing by Tutor Jess and Tutor Zen and creative writing with Tutor Kit and Tutor Jerry. So thank you so much, Tutor Jelly and Tutor Jom. Ayan, it's really so an honor for me to have you here. Thank you, thank yes, you, guys. Thank you, and thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you, viewers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Bye, everyone. everyone. Bye. 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 God bless. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!